beautiful. We are about 45 minutes out of town centre. Yeah. And uh, we're off to a giant cafe. A which, place that Dave chose. If we get there. <laughs> <laughs> but on the way, on the way we found some absolutely glorious oh, views. Stunning. Oh my god. It's, it's just part of the Mayon Loop or something, this is. Yeah. Uh, Mei Hong Son Loop? Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, just have a look at these beautiful views. We really had to stop. And then we it's found this water, cafe yeah. just over here, which we are going to go over and have a coffee. And just, just listen. Yeah. How lush and beautiful. Oh my God. I know I say that a lot, lush and beautiful and green and, but oh, brought me that along too, is dude. the epitome of Thailand. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And if you haven't been yet, ah, make a plan. Get out there, do it. Hey Dave. It doesn't take long to get out of the city and it's beautiful though. Eh? Yeah. Bike, yeah. car, or even a tour of that. Well, we've seen quite a few vans coming up here. Yeah, absolutely. So, yep, come with us for uh, a cuppa, cup of coffee. <laughs> I think we need some cafe. Caffeine right about now. <laughs> cafe. I'm a ditz sometimes. <laughs> but you guys all know that already. So just in case you don't know, we are Judy and Dave in Thailand and we and Dave is over there and we are a strange little couple in our 50s that decided to sell our house, sell our gear, sell our cars, quit our jobs and move to Thailand because, well, why not? And Dave wants a bigger bike. Yes, it's good around town. Some of these hills are really steep and it struggles, but you can still do a certain speed, but it struggles a bit. The two of us anyway. But check out these views. You know, I'm I'm always I don't know I don't know why, but I'm always astounded by the absolutely glorious views that we see. And I, I often think how much more beauty and gloriousness well, can my eyes there. see. Well you just look at the path goes somewhere. Look at that. That's absolutely That's extraordinary. Uh, I will hang on. Let's let's just see how steep this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really steep. Good lord! And I am not the fittest person in the world. And it's got this green mossy stuff here, so I'm sure that would get quite slidey. Wow. You know, the only thing I hate are mosquitoes. The only thing I hate about this kind of lushness, mosquitoes, and they just go to town on you. But if that's the only negative I can draw from this extraordinary, oh, look at that, from this view here. Look at that. Oh, God. I'm not often rendered speechless. <laughs> I could cry. It's a fall down. It's steep. Yeah. We do have to get a run up for that one. <laughs> I enjoyed the bridge we came across. We got that in the middle. I thought, well, let's see how the cars go on on the side. So. Ah. <laughs> All right. Look at the so. Look at the I will. I just want to do this first. Check that out guys, that's, that's beautiful. Sometimes the beauty that surrounds us here, it, it just, it's breathtaking and it evokes emotion, it really does. Wow. Check that, <laughs> there's Dave. Check that view out. That's beautiful. Panning across to the cafe. Oh, it's called, oh, right. Civet coffee. Now, if you don't know what civet coffee is, there is an animal called the civet. It's cat-like that eats the coffee bean and then the coffee bean is dried. Once, they, once it's gone through its intestinal tract, the coffee bean is dried and 
crushed and served to people. First time we had civet coffee was in Bali, but it looks like it's done here too. Civet coffee day. Remember the cat? The cat in Bali? Yeah. Oh, I'm not having that. Civet no. coffee. No, no, I'm not having poo coffee. <laughs> I'm not having poo coffee. No, I don't want to have poo coffee today either. It's really thick and really rich and uh, dark and <laughs> flavorful. Yes, absolutely. What do you want, latte? I'll have, uh, yeah, latte. Two. I'll say two hot latte. Latte, yeah. yeah. Hot. Latte hot. Please, please. Right here, Dave. Oh, hang on. Let me just, let me just walk the distance first. Well, I'm not quite sure what they are. Oh, is that marijuana, Dave? I think it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, God. Duh. I can't believe I'm so dumb and naive sometimes. Oh, my goodness. And I'm asking Dave, and he's way ahead over there. <laughs> Dave, there are marijuana cigarettes back there. I was trying to decipher what they were. And then, then I looked up and there's this massive marijuana leaf behind it. I know. Look at this. Oh my God, and we're all going to drive past this. This place is like this everywhere along here. Right? That's awesome. Pangrom. We're at Pangrom, dude, not Moon. Moon's over there. Pangrom. Oh. Moon's oh. that one over there. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I stand corrected. <laughs> we're not at the Moon Cafe. We're at Pang Pangrom. Yeah, so there it is, the Pangrom Civet Coffee. This is the octagon. Wow. Nice cold. No this is good. beautiful. Take over the edge. No, I won't. But thanks for the advice, babe. No. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Horses. It's just been carved out. What a fantastic. Oh. What a fantastic, what a fantastic shot. Fantastic mozzie. Uh, I, I suggest we sit down and do a little bit of a mozzie spray. <laughs> They're getting a lot of dengue fever at the moment. Coming yeah, down, yeah. Sure oh, shite. <laughs> I almost <laughs> went over. Know. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yep, right here.
made it, Jess. <laughs> the hills are very, very steep. <laughs> For a while, I don't think the bot was going to get up. So we're at the giant in Chiang Mai, Thailand, <laughs> where we always are coming from. So let's go in. How cool are those doors? And check out these views. They're absolutely extraordinary. Uh, I'll put some of the, the ride up here. I filmed most of the ride up here. Um, I'll put that on, on twice the speed or three times the speed just to get through it. But <laughs> some, of the, some of the views, seriously, absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. Right, okay, so the background, <laughs> formerly Barkapok village was a cultivated area of copy tea leaves by, um, by Miang and persimmons. I love persimmons. More than 10 years living in this area simultaneously with the village development project, the owner of this land decided to establish the giant to support this campaign. It was built by the cooperation of the villagers and formally opened on March the 1st, 2014. Now the objectives to develop public utility in the village such as a road and phone signal service uh, to support agricultural community by being the centre to distribute and promote the coffee of the village and to create awareness of natural conservation, no deforestation, no hunting, no forest fire. Sorry, I didn't hear that. You want to start again? <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart ass. Ah, oh, that's cool. This is cool. Go then. Not allowed to bounce, as it says. No. I said no. No run or shake. Didn't say about bounce. <laughs> yeah. No falling over. No tripping. No anything silly like that. Don't shake it. I'm not. I'm trying to walk. Okay. okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, bloody hell! I almost went over the edge. The little wooden things don't help. They make it worse. Uh, one at a time, please. You're gonna crawl. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's a little bit on the shaky side. <laughs> so, Adika. <laughs> Check the view! Wow! That's nuts! That's nuts! Imagine flying straight out here. Oh man! So many people. Yeah, we flew the drone in the other location, the previous location, um, because we figured that this would be kind of touristy and there would be a fair few people here. So I think we did the right thing. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, but that'd be beautiful going across the valley there. <laughs> it would. So at least little Boyan got to get out there and Brian. fly. Boyan. Brian was a good boy. <laughs> Boyan was Brian a good boy. Brian did not crash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get something to eat. Yeah. On our way up here, we noticed that there are places for camping. Uh, I wouldn't do it in a fit. <laughs> I would not. The amount of mosquitoes that are out and about early, as in early, early in the morning. And well, this is the time of the year, I don't know. But it is nice and cool, it's at refreshing. At dusk as well. At dusk, you know, you've got that massive infusion of mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little, I think it's a little black flyer. It might, have, it might even be a mosquito that's buzzing around the GoPro at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's had a go at me. Yes. <laughs> But, yeah, would we do camping here? No, no, no way. Done a lot of that when we were younger. From yeah. camping to caravanning. I've got the stage, I like a nice bed. <laughs> yeah, me oh, too. There probably is, there's probably rooms here that do it. There's probably, we, there is like glamping type yeah, things. Yeah, so. exactly, that's what I was just about to say. We would do glamping because that's just a glamorous kind of a tent-y slash hotel room. But it's yeah. with all the, mod cons and the comforts and so forth of a hotel room so i would do that definitely for sure and we saw a glamping place on the way up here as well uh which there's would a be of resorts being built too they look very swish yeah yeah there's a resort that was on the right hand side that looked like yurts 
yurts on stilts. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what that was. We might actually pull in uh, on the way back and have a bit better have a better look at that. Mm. There are uh, quite a few places that I wouldn't mind pulling in and having a little look at on the way back. There was a set of markets as well that Dave pointed out as we headed out that we'd like to... I can't even remember who they were now. <laughs> <laughs> ...have a little look at. I don't know and about Kang. Some... Kang. I'm not sure. Oh, OK. Sam... Sam... Kapang. Yeah, I'm not oh, sure. I'm not even sure how to say that. Um, Look, once we've been here for a little while, I'm sure we'll get these th these names down pat, but for, for right now, no. um, yeah, we're just tourists that, well, kind of tourists slash residents that just butcher names. <laughs> we give it a go. We do give it a go, and um, we try to be as respectful as possible, trying to get the names right. So, yeah. Cut us some slack if we get it wrong. <laughs> well, the lady at the petrol station was impressed. I could say, uh, fill up and uh, what type of fuel. She said, "Well, well, well. So yeah. obviously I said it right. <laughs> well, sort of right anyway. They they smile." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, so we have ordered. I've ordered a. a wow, what was, was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a big bug. <laughs> About that big. <laughs> no. Yeah, about that big. About that big. Uh, I've ordered a Penang curry and Dave's ordered a cow soy. So mine's mine's with pork and Dave's is with chicken. So we'll um we'll show you when it, when they arrive. And yes, I know we have done and redone Thai food again and again, but we love Thai food and this is what partially what our channel is about. <laughs> so food it shall be. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. this is Dave's cow soy with chicken. Mm. And it comes with some pickled veggies, some lime, some onion, and some chili in oil. This and here's mine. Kopkunka. I've got my panang curry. Some light consomme. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. That's is that mushroom in there? Normally, I think so. Down. I think so. Yeah, have a bit of a have a bit of a root around in there, will you? <laughs> yeah, it's mushroom. Take it out. <laughs> Take it out. Not for me. <laughs> As most of you probably know by now, I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> but you have but had them. I have had them, and they've been fine. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have blended our... to affinity. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have our lunch. So, Dave. Yes. Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time. He's like On a big kid, isn't he? <laughs> okay. No breakfast this morning, honey. No, we that's didn't. right. We didn't There's have any coffee. breakfast. Okay, we're hungry.